Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, Hallelujah. You give life, you are love. Morning, good morning, everybody. You give hope, you restore. That is broken. Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. It's your breath in our lungs. Morning, everybody. I am producer and speaker this morning. So if you see me turning, I have to be doing some other stuff. Morning. Good morning, everybody. You give life. You give life. You give love. You bring light to the darkness. You give hope. You restore. That is broken. Morning, family. Great are you, Lord. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise. Pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out to you only your breath hallelujah in our lungs pour out a praise pour out a praise it's your breath in our lungs out of praise to you only hallelujah yes Jesus it's his breath that we have in our lungs. Hallelujah. We have borrowed bread. Hallelujah. He's responsible for us. So we have to praise him. Hallelujah. Jesus, we give you glory. Jesus. Blessings, blessings, morning. Are you Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. It's our breath. Hallelujah. It's breath, man. That is in our lungs. And we have to remember that we are not our own. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. Hallelujah. We are his people and the sheep of his pastures. We are his sheep enter his gates with thanksgiving and we have entered his gates this morning enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise hallelujah so we are acknowledging god this morning and we are saying god it's your breath it's your breath in our lungs so we pour out our praise because we know that it's not our own it's not by our doing no man can create breath hallelujah only one source we get our our breath from and it's our god so we have to come before him this morning we enter the gates hallelujah 
enter the gates with thanksgiving this morning. So, Father God, hallelujah. We exalt you, great and awesome and mighty and true God. We exalt you as the God that gives us breath. We exalt you as the loving Father. We exalt you as the faithful God. We exalt you as our shepherd. We exalt you as our leader. We exalt you as God, the creator. We are so fearfully and we are so wonderfully made. Hallelujah. Wonderfully made, oh God, and we give you thanks. We give you thanks for every organ that you have created in our body. We give you thanks for how we are, just, just how you have composed us like, like, a, like the finest musician, mighty God, like the finest artist. Hallelujah. God, you are so awesome. You are so magnificent, God. Exalt God this morning. Big him up this morning. Tell God, tell God something this morning. Heal him this morning. Salute him this morning. Write something about who God is to you this morning. Hallelujah. It's his breath that we have in our lungs. Glorious God. Hallelujah. We come before your presence. Hallelujah. Mighty God, we exalt you today. Hallelujah. You are awesome, Daddy. You are awesome in this place. Oh, mighty God, you deserve the highest praise. All other gods are the works of men, but you are the most high God. Adonai, we exalt you this morning. King of kings, we exalt you God, hallelujah, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Gibor, the God of war. We salute you this morning, God. How great is our God and how greatly he is to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus, we give you glory. Yes, King of kings and Lord of lords. We worship you, mighty God. Yes, David, mighty God, most high. You are the great I am. Yes, God. God, you are our savior this morning. God, you are our everything. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, you are our all in all. Yes, God, we bless your name. We honor your name. We glorify your name. You are great and greatly to be praised. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace and mercy on us another time time. Thank you for life and health and strength. Hallelujah. Worthy of all praise you are God. You are great and you are good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We, You are the reigning king. Hallelujah. You are our true love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is none like you Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. You are awesome in this place. Hallelujah. We exalt you Lord. Yes. 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 God you are our everything. We must Magnify you, Lord. Hallelujah. He's worthy of our praise. He's our strength when we are weak. Yes, yes, yes. You are the Alpha and the Omega. Hallelujah. You are wisdom. Yes, Ivan. Yes, write them. Keep writing them. And as you write them, I will pray them. Mako Robo Shaya. Reba Baba Kondo Robo Sataya. Glory be to you, O God. Hallelujah. 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 You are worthy. Worthy. You are worthy. You are Jehovah Rapha. Yes, Sandra. You are Jehovah Rapha, God. The God who heals. You are our hiding place. Hallelujah. We lift our, we lift you higher, Lord. Hallelujah. You are our guide. You are our friend. You are our protector. You are our provider. Yes, you are God. Most high God. We joy in you, Lord. We joy in your strength. Hallelujah. You are our protector. Yes. Yes, Taj. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You are God. You are God. You are God. Yes. You sit on high above. Mighty are you, God. You are the spirit. You are a living God. Hallelujah. You are a rock in times of storm. Hallelujah. You are from everlasting to everlasting. You are our healer. Yes, Raquel. Hallelujah. The Lord, our healer. 
for all, including yes, Pastor Wayne. The answer to all circumstances is God. Hallelujah. You are worthy. The blood that saved us. Yes, Lord, our righteousness. Hallelujah. You are our rock. You are our everything. Hallelujah to Jesus. There's none like you. You are our everlasting God. You are the God. You are God alone. Jehovah God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, you are awesome, most high, lifted up, Lord of the universe, Jehovah guides us every day, God, you are our husband man, yes, K, hallelujah, you are our defender this morning, you are our faithful God, you are the head and not the tail, yes, God, and because you are the head and not the tail, we are the head and not the tail, you are our hiding place, you are the lion of the tribe of Judah, yes, you are our rock and our fortress, you are our shield and our ever-present help, you are our strength hallelujah hallelujah we give god glory this morning oh god there is so many adjectives we can use to describe god the redeemer the i am hallelujah you are our great high priest oh god hallelujah we are established in you yes god you are the way maker hallelujah yes father you are our light you are our salvation you are our great creator you are our father hallelujah and father god we look to you this morning who is the author and the finisher of our faith. We look to you, God, mighty God, to tabernacle with us. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Let this meeting at Mount Sinai, mighty God, at the fourth watch, be all of you, almighty God, and none of us. At this very hour, take my tongue, take our tongues, take our minds, and teach us exactly what to say in the name of Jesus and we will be faithful father to give you every praise in Jesus name we flourish like the palm tree and we grow like the cedars of Lebanon Lord we thank you this morning that we are planted in your house Almighty God, and therefore we flourish in the courts of our God oh God we thank you that your beauty is up upon us and because your beauty is upon us you have established the works of our hands hallelujah everything that we put our hands to do prosper in the mighty name of jesus because your beauty is upon us lord we thank you this morning that you bless us indeed hallelujah and you enlarge our territory your hands are upon us that no evil can harm us your hands are upon us that we are free from pain lord we thank you that you satisfy us with long life hallelujah in the name of jesus we thank you lord that though our beginnings was small our latter days increases abundantly in the mighty name of jesus thank you lord that this morning we are robed in your righteousness. We have a crown of pure gold on, upon our heads. Oh God, we thank you that this morning, God, you grant us the desires of our hearts. Hallelujah. Speak into the atmosphere. This prophetic Wednesday, what the desire of your heart is. Hallelujah. Psalm 21. The Lord says he grants us the desires of our heart. And it's according to his will. Hallelujah. 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 Father God, my desire this morning is to see Erica Thompson totally healed, restored in the mighty name of Jesus. My desire is to see Lily Rose from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet totally healed and made whole because you are jehovah rafa lord my desire is to see jillian testify that you healed her almighty god from cancer lord doctor says that she's far gone but when doctor says no lord we thank you that you are indeed a god that says yes and if her time has not yet come father i thank you father that you are reaching into every marrow every sinew every tissue every fiber of jillian's being and flushing out almighty god every trait of cancer 
in the mighty name of Jesus. My desire this morning is to see Arita Burger totally whole in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Franklin totally whole. Rowan Wade totally whole in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, we thank you this morning that you hear. Hallelujah. And you are a God that honors your word above your name. If you have somebody that is sick, this is the hour where God is granting us the desires of our heart. Desires for healing. Lord, total healing from sinusitis. Total healing, Father God, from every spirit of diabetes in the bloodline. Hypotension in the bloodline. In the name of Jesus, cancer in the bloodline. Schizophrenia in the bloodline. We pray for healing, Lord. That's the desire, mighty God. The desires of my heart this morning. Mighty God, to see total healing and restoration in the lives of people. Total healing and restoration in marriages hallelujah in the mighty name of Jesus because you love marriages mighty God and because you love marriages the enemy desires to sift marriages like wheat but Lord I thank you that this morning you are honoring your word concerning healing and restoration in the name of Jesus hallelujah healing from arthritis and bursitis and the first me here here the one the bursitis Oh, Jesus, total healing for Tashanda, Brittany, and DJ. Yes, Lord, total healing and restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal the minds. Hallelujah. Mind healing. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, total healing for granddaughter Shayan. Yes, God, we come in agreement this morning in the mighty name of Jesus because you are a healing God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Complete healing, complete restoration, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning, family. Morning, morning, and welcome to the fourth watch. Restoration, Brian. Yes, total healing and restoration. I will believe in God because He's here. Hallelujah, He's here. He's here. Kedon Hamilton healing. Angela Hamilton healing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Can anybody answer me? Total healing for Ezekiah Phillips. Yes. Hallelujah. Clifford Beckford. Total healing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Angela. Um, Quenda. Healing from addiction and depression. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, God. We come in agreement and we decree it and we declare that it is so. Hallelujah. We have a God that is good. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. Oh. Yes. Never gonna let us down, guys. He's never gonna let us down. Hallelujah. He's never gonna let us down. Total healing for Vincent. Hallelujah. Brother Patrick, yes, receive your healing. We send forth our word this morning and we heal them. Healing for Clifton, from Clinton Palmer and Calvin Abraham. Healing. Hallelujah. Yes, we serve a God that's good. Mm. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, you are good, good, oh. Hallelujah. Yes, and I want to just testify of the goodness of God this morning. How good our God is. This morning I got a, a text message from one of our family. And she said that yesterday it was just impressed upon our heart. To come on the fasting with us. And she has been a part of the family. Um, and we have just started fasting last week. So yesterday she said it, it was impressed on her heart. To come on the fast with us. 
and she came on the fast and she was just there at her deck spraying and because she needs a financial breakthrough and she was just calling unto God, you know, spending time worshiping and just exalting God and just praying to God and, and just, you know, the spirit of fear may have wanted to come upon her because, you know, so when we need money and we're not happy, the enemy would want to come up with fear, but she encouraged herself in the Lord. And by the time she was encouraging herself in the Lord, somebody called her, her brother called her and said, you just step on my mind. And she started, I don't, I don't remember this full text because it's long. But the end of it all, the brother said, he's going to help her to sort out the bills that she needs to pay. Who is, who is like unto our God? Who is like unto our God? The Lord impressed on our brother's heart. So while she was yet speaking, God hears. He impressed it on our brother's heart to call her. And our brother called her when she was in the desperate need. And God showed up for her. And God provided the finances that she needed to sort out our story. God can't go on here. Hey, let me tell you something. That's why me, God can't go on, you know. He can't go on, you see. And let me tell you something, man. Anytime, him just want you, him just want you just remember, say. I, I me do it, you know. Don't take it for yourself, you know. I me do it. So he needs to get the glory. Hallelujah. What an on time God. Yes, Diana. An on time God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give God glory. Um, I have a testimony about, I, I think Ron had shared it, but the, it, it gets larger every day because for God gets bigger every day. It, 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 what he does gets bigger every day. Him just, him just guan, he guan, him just love guan. Listen to me now. I took a book to carry to a lady. I'm not even remember her name for sure. Oh God, no easy, you know. I took a book, one of my books to carry to a lady at a, at a, a place in Institute of Jamaica. When I, I thought I was at the, I thought I was at, I went to the, went somewhere else, another building, instead of going to the Institute where the lady was. When I was in there, I was asking for the lady. At that time, I knew the lady's name. Smuddy in there, overhear me who works at another office, overheard me, who works at the National Museum, overheard me and said, me know who you are talk. give me the book, I will hand it to her. When she saw the book, she looked and she saw that it was a potter book. She said, potter book? And she started opening the book. I said, no man, this is a book you belong in at the museum. So she took the book and she, it was in the museum, take picture and everything. God wanted a bag of things that day. Anyway, I got a call recently. They were having a story, they are having this story time where they invite schools and children to come. No, normally it would be face to face, but this year is going to be on, um, on internet. And it's me, she called, she called me to be the presenter for the storytelling. No. If I had not gone to the wrong place, so sometimes in our mind, what we see as wrong is actually God orchestrating an end result where we not see. That's why we have to have a posture of thanksgiving always. Um, first Thessalonians 5 says, give thanks in all circumstances. Why? Because it is God's will for you. Suppose me to go in at the place and say, shrug. Me, me, cho, me can't bother now. Me be at the wrong place and I go on and I go on and I, and I create excitement. What would I go on? But I maintain a posture. Me no, me no know what me did. But God allowed the right person. Me, I am at the wrong place. Quote unquote. She's at the right place to hear me asking for somebody. Then with her inquisitive mind. She came and said, I will help you. And now God is allowing me to use the platform that he has given me, story writing, storytelling, to share with children across Jamaica and across the world. Now, 
who could that be? I couldn't orchestrate that. I could market that. That has to be the right hand of God orchestrating everything so that his will can be done on earth as it is in heaven. I am telling you guys, sometimes God tell us to do some things. I remember I am a patwa smuddy. Anybody know me know say me a patwa smuddy. And when God said write the book in patwa, the voice come and say patwa because of what patwa represent to some persons. And I remember even persons that you know are you know persons who you get little advice from and so we you know them you sure you sure and when when this, when that came to me you know i went back to ruan and i said ruan you, you, you think me for write the book in a patwa that i did the book in motion already you know and ruan turned to me and said what god said to you i mean saying something for write the book in a patwa and ruan say go and go write the book do exactly exactly what god says you are to do and guys i believe with 100 percent of my heart if the book was not written in patwa it would just be like a normal book but the patwa is what sets it apart and the, because of obedience to god god said all right then we can become your marketing manager you know because i him a market me Somebody said to me, boy, sis, me love where the direction in which the book I go. Me say, me say, me, me say, me not have nothing to do with God thing. God is the one who is doing the behind the scenes and I'm just walking in it. I am talking to somebody this morning, not by my might or by my power, but by the spirit of God. I God I do it. Me not have nothing to do with it. Me just a vessel. It is breath in my lungs. So I pour out his praise with the patwa book. And anywhere me go, me call up Jesus name. Come me not afraid. Everywhere me go, me say the Holy Spirit give me the idea. Because it is breath in my lungs. I feel breath in my lungs. So me pour out in praise. And me say, I know me, my dear. A God. I know me, master. A God. A katokorobo sayaba. Let me tell you something. The greatest marketing manager can market you like God. The scripture says, He's the one that opens doors that no man can shut. And He's the one that shut door that no man can open. Who can open the biggest door? Oh, God can open the biggest door. May I tell somebody something today? Let me tell you something. Sometimes a man may open a door, but in the spirit is a crack but when God opened the door it fling open in the name of Jesus may I speak to somebody this morning will you allow God will you allow God will you allow God hallelujah will you allow God to orchestrate your story for you or is it that you are going to try to find one man and try and try and try and try and try and try? And try? Listen to me. Hallelujah. Mr. Poster come to me yesterday. Starring Marsha Weed. And when me come from a star in a, in a, in a play. Listen to me now. And the Holy Spirit a star. And the Holy Spirit a star. Hallelujah. Jesus, listen to me, guys. Put your business before the Lord. Give him it every inch of it. Sometimes we are trying to work in things and I try to fit 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 um fit 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 forget a forget a, a connection and we are and we are pressed and we are pressed and every press we are pressed. Not now go on. Because we not let go, yes, Veronica, and let God. Listen to me, guys. When the Lord said to me, Go on back at your yard. Go on back at your yard. Because God talked to you how you talk. Because me a patwa smuddy, in chat to me in a patwa sometime too. Go on back at your yard. Go on back at your yard. Because I was in disobedience. I find me go. Go on back at your yard. 
and God gave me the book. Why he gave me that book, me not know what I'm going to do with it. I'm from North Carolina, I start writing that book. The Lord said, go on back to your yard. Because you were in disobedience, you made a pact with me. And out of that pact, you broke the covenant. You said that if Rowan don't get the visa, that's an indication that I am not to go anywhere. And let me tell you something, if never get the visa, I'm in the pan plane same way. Disobedient, but God. God saw the hard pasture. And when he said, go back to your yard, I obeyed him. And he gave me an, a book in my hand. I came back to not from North Carolina with little money, little money, because when because I spent just one year and one and a half year, me not get to build up no money. So when me come from North Carolina, me not have no whole heap of money. Most of my money me have to pay about this and pay about that and pay. But let me tell you something. Me come back from North Carolina with Jesus in my bosom. Because I spent so much of my time in the Lord. And I came back from North Carolina with a, with a book. And he asked Moses, what is it that you have in your hand? I came back with a book. The book was in my hand. And I came back full of Jesus. Me the maga doing, but full up of Jesus. And God says, okay, I have started this work. And I will see it through to completion. And listen to me. Where God is taking it, I don't know. But I am in for the ride. Because with God, I can. Hallelujah. And I'm talking to you, Melody Crooks, this morning. Hallelujah. Melody Crooks. As I see you, I see a book. As I see you, I see a book too. I just see a book open before me. Melody Crooks, I don't know if you have a book or the Lord is telling you to write a book. But Melody Crooks, I am imploring you this morning as I see the book wide open before me. As I call your name, I am, I am saying to you, obey God. Obey God. Obey what God is saying to you. Don't look at what you think the end result is. God has already have the end result. He said in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 that his plans are to prosper you and not to harm you. To bring you hope and a future. So therefore your future is already in God's hand. Yes, money. Step out, melody. Melody crook. Step out. I am seeing where there are some... Some mind things, some things come up against your mind at times. Everybody, everybody go through it. But these things is like, it's, it, 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 it is like, um, when, when it comes up against you, it's like you feel like you don't want to do anything. Melody Crooks, I'm talking to Melody Crooks this morning. And God is saying, I have given you the right as anointing. I am speaking as I get it. The right as anointing is upon Melody Crooks. Hallelujah. Melody, take up the pen. Melody, take up the pen and write. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God will send the help for you to publish your book. Melody, hallelujah, hallelujah. Erica Thompson, Erica Thompson. Um, I pray for her this morning, but Eric, Eric, Erica Thompson, <laughs> I what I'm seeing is just clouds. And when I, I see is it's just like clouds over your mind. Just pure cloud. It's like Mer Mer Erica Thompson, you are going through a phase of, of extreme confusion. Extreme confusion. But the Lord is saying to you this morning, I'm not sure if you are online. The Lord is saying to you this morning that he is your peace. He is your peace, Erica. And Erica, some parts of my story is yours because I see where you are trying your utmost best to work out things in your own strength and it's not working. The Lord says, release to me, Erica Thompson. Release to me, Erica Thompson. Release it. Release it. And as soon as you release it, that weight that is upon your shoulder that makes your neck, neck right here tighten up. Sometimes, Erica, make your neck tight. Your neck feels so tight. It's because of what is going on in your mind. It tightens your neck. And it's like a yoke upon your shoulder here. So, 
But God says, I am your peace this morning. And he says, release that which is concerning you to me and watch my hand unfold. One of our, one of our, um, one of our, our issues that we have, and I, I, I is, is the more I get to know God is, is the better I become at not doing it, is God tells us to do something and we are work out the end res result. The end result is also up to him. So whatever he has started, the end result is also up to him. So we, we must just leave the end result to him and just walk step by step, step by step, step by step. In God. Hallelujah. 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 Tajna, um, I'm seeing where you are going to. I don't see you back in Jamaica. Tajna Price. I don't see you back here because you are going to be, I'm, I'm seeing where like you're getting a promotion. So after your time is up, Tajna Price, after your time is up, you will, you will be taken on as, as, as a, as a, um, like a consultant, something like a consultant. Uh, but that's what I'm seeing for Tajna Price. I don't see, I don't see a return here. I see where the Lord is going to enlarge your borders in America and you are going to be like a, a consultant or something like that because of how good you are in, in your field. I won't say your field, but I see, that's what I just saw in the, in the spirit. Father God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That you who began a good work in Tajna will see it through to completion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. 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 Tajna. Tajna. Lily Rose. Lily Rose. Let me tell you something about the power of the tongue. Hallelujah. Lily Rose. Lily, your confession has to be the same if you are going through pain in your body you cannot change the confession from healing you have to keep the confession going that i am healed so if you say if we say and we come together as a as a as a, as a family in agreement and we say that yes sajna that's the hard posture Anywhere you lead me, Lord. And I'm sensing that you are sensing that too. Um, Tajna, I'm sensing that you are sensing that too. Hallelujah. Um, Lily Rose. So Lily Rose, I don't know if you are on this morning. But I am sensing that your mouth, your mouth, Lily, Lily Rose, your mouth, Lily, your mouth has to say the same thing to keep the healing flowing um i don't remember the psalm that says keep a watch over your mouth i think it is um psalm 39 i don't remember it don't quote me somebody can just look for it for me keep a watch over your mouth keep a watch over your mouth so your mouth have to say i am healed body i command you in the name of jesus to so line up I decree and declare that by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. So you continue to keep that confession. So if somebody asks you, how are you doing, Lily? Lord, I thank you that I am healed. Because sometimes some persons will come in a space. Sometimes some person will come in a space to make a change of confession. Sometimes some situation will come to make a change of confession. Sometimes when the pain gets hotter, it's for you to change your confession. But you have to keep firm. You have to be firm. You have to be firm. Let me see the time. Hallelujah. 538. We have to keep Psalm 141 verse 3. Psalm 141 verse 3. Thank you, money. Let me find it. Psalm 141 verse 3. Hallelujah. Psalm 141. Because all of us, all of us, all of I remember. I remember when one of my very dear sisters was going to our story. I'm tell you, say when the enemy come in like a flood, you know, all I said to the, to her, set a guard, O oh Lord, over my mouth. Keep a watch over the doors of my lip. So your, your lip is a door. Open and close. Open and close. You know, in the natural way, you say, am my mouth? Am I free for chat? That's the devil's saying. So here it is, the psalmist is asking the Lord to set a watch over his mouth. But today, today, God is saying you have the power to set a watch over your mouth because he dwells in you. 
set a watch over me more god set a watch and as i said to you the, the lady was going to wall leap or something wall leap or something i mean me mean holy and i said to her look here the enemy wants you to change your confession keep the confession going keep the confession going we have to set a watch over our mouth set a guard over it because out of the mouth you know you will see a life you know and that's why you have to set a watch over your mind because out of the abundance of your mind your mouth speak so i'm talking to lily rose this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. So today we want to look at the cedar of Lebanon. Yes, Simone, set a watch over my mouth, O oh Lord. We want to look at the cedar of Lebanon. I'm um, in Psalm 92, verse 13, it said, 12. It says, we flourish like the palm tree and we grow like the cedar of Lebanon. And I, I, I just wanted us to, to know, um, to just get a sense of why would the Lord says we are like the cedar of Lebanon. And in the Bible, we realize that there are a lot of figurative speeches, used metaphors and similes and, um, when 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 uh when uh um when something is saying that you are like the other thing it's not literally saying you are the thing but it says your characteristics is like the thing so the same way how the thing operate is so you um operate you're like it so when the word of god says we are like the cedars of Lebanon, it is actually saying the characteristics that the cedar of Lebanon have, we must have it. And one of the, one of the, one, let me just read about the cedar first. It says a cone producing tree that can grow up to 120 feet tall, like a 10 story building or a 12 story building. Its branches are wide spreading and go straight out horizontally. So the branches are wide. 30 feet to 50 feet. No, talk it through. No, not a big something of that. From the trunk, it was known in the biblical areas as the king of trees. Hallelujah. So the cedar grows deep in the earth. As tall as it is, it's the same way it grows deep in the earth. And the branches spread out wide. So God says we are to be deep in him steeping him and our branches are to be wide or reach we'll go some more into that then it says the cedar words that are used to describe the cedar in the bible firm and strong durable graceful beautiful high and tall fragrant spread wide now where i want us to look at all these characteristics remember you know the Bible says we are like the cedar of Lebanon. Therefore, we have characteristics like the cedar of Lebanon. So we are actually money, the king of trees. Hallelujah. We are kings. Now, listen. It, one of the characteristics says that the cedar of Lebanon is firm. Firm and strong. So we are to be firm and strong. How can we be firm and strong? The word of God says in Joshua 1 verse 8, it tells us that we are to meditate on the word day and night. Let me find it. Let me make sure I find it. It says, Joshua 1 verse, verse 8. It says, this book, this book, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and and night day and night you know that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and thou shalt have good success how can how are we going to be strong and how are we going to be firm we are going to be strong and we are going to be firm in feet Firm in faith or established. The word for this month is to establish. How are we going to flourish? We have to meditate on the word. We have to know the character and nature of God in order for us to be firm. In order for us to be strong. In order for us to believe in who God is. Psalm 27 verse 3 says, 
Though an host may encamp around me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. That is King David. Me tell us something. Me love David so till. Because David is just David's David's experiences with God. David said, look here. Although things are going around me, and although they are come after me, and although they are they, they, they want to they destroy me, David said, Yet will I be confident. When David went to Ziglag, you know, came from Ziglag, you know, and he saw that the Amalekites had raided his camp, you know. And the people that he came from the from, from the Philistine camp will turn upon him, you know, and say, Was torn him, you know. Listen to me now. Imagine the people that you are with want to stone you. But David had this firmness in God. David had this strength in God. David said, Father God, you see what was going on me? Are you are my God, you know? Let me know. Let me know if I must just go and war with them Amalekites. Yeah. So he found this confidence. In God, he found his strength in God, and like the cedars, in order for us to be established, in order for us to be strong, in order for us to be firm, we have to have a foundation in God, we have to be rooted in God, and that's how we are going to grow tall. The cedar of Lebanon was rooted in the ground. And that is why the, the more the more it grew is the deeper its root got. So the more we are growing in God, we have to be deeper in Him. And that's when we will get different revelation. Sometimes when I hear Pastor come up with some revelation, like the other day, um, I heard him talk about the story with the wine. And may I tell you the truth? Me say, boy, me never see it so. And I have seen it happen so often because I have seen how much time he spends praying in the spirit and, and he knows the word. And because of that, the revelations are mind blowing sometimes. I spent some time with, with, I was talking to a, a bishop the other day twice. Twice I was around him and may I tell you, he was just oozing God. God was just pouring out of him, pouring out of him because he spends time in the secret place. So like the seed of Lebanon that is deep rooted, we have to be deep rooted. Another characteristic, it is graceful. And anytime I hear about graceful, you know, I think about the dancers. Dancers are graceful. The ones who dance very well. They are, you know, they um. We call those type of dance again. Um, the great. Uh, you remember like the ballet types of dance. You know, you somebody may know the word for that. You know those type of dance. They are graceful. And you know when I when I heard the word graceful, I think about our actions. How is our actions? It's refer, um, graceful refer, ballerina David Chauman. Yes, David the ballerinas. Yes, it says it re, um, graceful re, refers to our body movement and our body language and our actions. So, like the seed of Lebanon, we are to be graceful, our actions and 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 beautiful. So it says the cedars are beautiful trees. The sea, ballroom dancing, yes, Joseph. Thank you so much. Swans are graceful, yes, Denise. Yes, so graceful refers to your body movement, and graceful refers, re, um, refers to how beautiful we look. So if we are going to be quoting, I am like the cedar of Lebanon, we have to examine, are we graceful? Is our action beautiful? Is our action uh, something to emulate? Is our action something for others to say, whoa? Is our actions beautiful? When Moses went to Mount Sinai, and we find that in Exodus 24, verse, um, 34, verse 29, when Moses spent time in the word, that's why the first thing we have to do is to be deep-rooted, you know, because being deep-rooted, we come out with who God is. You understand? Moses went up to Mount Sinai in Exodus 34, 29, and when Moses came down, not even Moses realized Yes, ice skating dancers, yes. Not even Moses realized how much he was glowing. Because he was in the presence of the Lord. So when he came down now to fellowship with other people, he was glowing. 
And other people were blind. Other persons were so. They saw the light. So just like the cedars of Lebanon are beautiful and graceful. Our persons seen our light. But I'm so glad that God is giving us um, um, giving us this, this, this time where when we spend time in God, we, when we leave out of his presence, we can always remember, say, look here, me have to continue to glow. No matter what comes up, no matter what comes up against us, we have to continue to glow. Yesterday I was talking to a young lady. Me understand, say, sometimes you have some people, you know, you have some people, you know. So nobody think me no know, but guess what? It's no excuse. You have some people, you know. <laughs> Cho. That's all I can say. Cho. Yesterday we, I was talking to this lady, and she, me tell you say, she was so angry, angry at our 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 partner. She angry so till with some of the things that he was saying to her, and, and I said. It's because you don't change it. Me have to tell her, me have to talk the truth. And because you don't change it, me the enemy can use it. Because the enemy looks to see where we're weak, you know, man. And whatever we are weak, you know, him just come with it, you know. The dead enemy can't test me with, with, with money, you know, because I'm a thief. But him can't test me with something else. He knew I had self-esteem esteem problem for years. So him tried to fool what people... Pour me one and two time with the self-esteem story. You understand? And the fear story. And he will come and say, you know, say you're not worthy. Remember, say you did do this, you know, remember your past and you know, say who you talk to know them know who you be. You know, say as some people from Nazareth you talk to. You understand? That's what the enemy does. But I have to remember that because I am a cedar. My light have to shine same way. And we have to continue to allow the light to shine even when the people them may tell you. Because the Bible don't tell us already, you know. The Bible tells us that. I know them I do it. And the devil I do it. Because the as I said to Lily, the devil wants you to change your confession. And the devil I do it. So you have to look past the person and look at who I use the person. Look who is using the person. And allow yourself to remain graceful. Allow yourself to remain beautiful in Psalm 1917. The beauty of the Lord is upon me. Where the beauty of the Lord come from? Spending time in his presence. So you are rooted in him. The beauty of the Lord is upon me. And he has established the works of my hand. Psalm 1917. You remember the song said, let, your, let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. All is wondrous, compassions and purity. And that it has say, who oh, know that song? Let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. All is wondrous, compassion. Listen to me now. When them come up against Jesus, Jesus just let them down easy. When the scribes and the Pharisees walk up and down and he knows that some of them will follow, follow back at him. All uh, them want a fish and bread. A fool them a look. Them don't really want to hear no word. A fool them want fish and bread. And even though he knew that, he said he fed them. He loved upon them. Some of the times the people blind by him and have called to Jesus. And, and them said, shut up your mouth. Shut up. Shut up your mouth. And by, by blind Bartimaeus called to him the same way. And Jesus walk over to blind Bartimaeus and heal him. The children were coming to Jesus and the same thing. They run them way. And the beauty of Jesus we are today, so you know. The beauty of Jesus like the cedar of Lebanon. We are to be beautiful and we are to be graceful. Hallelujah. Where action must speak that we have spent time with the king. In our palace, in our courts, as Psalm 92, 13 say. Our actions must show that we spend time in his courts. Where action cannot be hidden under a bushel. In Matthew 5, verse, verse, um, Matthew 5, verse 14, he says, Does a man light a, 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 a lamp and put it under one bed to hide? So we have to allow other people to see our light. 
We light of the show so that others may see it. So listen, so you see all of the back, back seat and me not want really, me not up front and me not up front person and me not up, that one they not go walk. Every smuddy who is in Christ are up front smuddy. You ever see one king? We are kings of trees. Have you ever seen a king in a back bench? King not in a back bench. King not in a back bench. King go up front. Kings are up front. You understand? So we are kings. We are the kings of trees. We have a lot of trees. Anybody who not in a God, they are still trees, but they are not kings. But when we are in Christ, we are kings of trees. That's why we are cedars. Hallelujah. It says, the cedar tree is durable. Yes, <laughs> Monique, up front, smarty, yes. Hallelujah. We are durable. You know what I mean by durable? It says, not liable to decay. Let me tell us something. See that tree can decay. And when we have taken on Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and He lives in us, we can decay. Though our outward man perish it, our spirit cannot decay so we live forever. I see somebody begging money. Please don't pay them any mind. Do me a beg or no. Don't pay them any mind. We did not give permission for these people to be on the line begging money. So nobody pays them any mind. Hallelujah. They have to come through us and we hear the story and then we go forward. Hallelujah. So it says, not liable to decay. When we take on Jesus, we're not liable to decay. We live forever. Eternity is our portion. You understand? It says it is used for building adorable temple and royal places. It's durable for building temples and royal places. Therefore, it is durable for building up the kingdom of God. And that's, that's awesome. We are durable to build the kingdom of God. Because we have the light and we are deeply rooted in God. So we can build the temples and the kingdom of God. Populate the kingdom. Populate the kingdom. Hallelujah. So we are builders of the kingdom. Because we are cedars. Hallelujah. It says it grows all year round. Let me tell you something about the cedar. Why they use the word Lebanon is because Lebanon is at a height. Lebanon is, Lebanon is very mountainous. So the cedars grow on the mountainous sides of Lebanon. And when they grow, it doesn't matter if it's winter, it doesn't die. It doesn't matter if it's spring, it doesn't die. Autumn, it doesn't die. Summer, it doesn't die. It doesn't matter what season it is in, it stays firm. Which season are you in today? Which season are you in today? Will you stand firm in God knowing that God is God and he never will fail you? When the winter times come, when the spring times come, when the summer times come, when the autumn times come, will you stand firm like the cedar, like the cedar of Lebanon? So God is saying to us today, when now that we have a better understanding of the cedar, we can say it with confidence that we are like the cedars of Lebanon. And another time I will teach us about the, the, the palm tree. But let me tell you something, guys. This is something for us to remember. God not just use it arbitrarily and just fling it. You will say, yes, you are like the cedars for no reason. He says you are like the cedars because him really and truly, really and truly are saying that you are beautiful, that you are graceful, that you are firm, that you are strong, hallelujah, that you are tall, that you are high. We are seated high above principalities and powers in heavenly places is truly saying that you are fragrant listen to me when our light is shining and sending out the the the, the, the rays across it's like a sweet incense to the nostrils of people when they smell the love smell the love coming from you smell the kindness coming from you smell the joy smell the peace the fragrance of your life will spread across and emit and light up a room. 
Guys, are you like the cedar this morning? Or am I like the cedar this morning? Anywhere we are not like the cedar, we have fixed that. Because we can do all things through Christ. Hallelujah. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Hallelujah. We are in the flourishing season. A season where God is renewing our minds and setting us. Hallelujah. In motion. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We have come to the end of the devotion. So we ready now for our um, emblems. I implore you to write in your journal as soon as you come off. If it's even one sentence, what message did you get from the Lord this morning? What was God say? What? Why would God give a word like this today? Write it down. Write it down. Hallelujah. In your journal, God is speaking to us every day. Write it down. God has spoken and we can say amen. Hallelujah. 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 Um, keeping up with the... I can't sit somebody needs you know. Yes, God has um God has, has has spoken this morning. So let us take out our emblems, our bread and our wine. Hallelujah to Jesus. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Lord, that you are such a faithful God. We thank you, Lord, that you died on the cross just for these moments. In the name of Jesus, just that we might have life and have it more abundantly, just that we might have peace and we might have joy, just like just that we might be firm in you and be strong and be graceful and be Lord, you did it all for us, all for us to flourish. Hallelujah, like the palm tree and grow like the cedars of Lebanon. Lord, you did it, died on the cross, shed your blood. That we might just be able to just give it, even give it thanks. Thank you, Jesus, for your body. Thank you for your blood. Where we have faltered, Lord, we repent even now. Because we do not desire to take your body and your blood in vain or unworthily. So, Lord, we, we eat and drink in thanksgiving of who you are, why you are. Oh, you are. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you for what this body and this blood will do to our bodies. In the name of Jesus. Eat. Eat all of it. And drink. And drink. I have one, one more word to say before we close. Let me find our, our closing song. So please continue to keep pastor in your prayers. Let me tell you something. Pastor is an energizer, bunny. So when you see pastor not come out, pastor on the sheet, or when you see pastor not even come out, you must know. Because I can't get him for rest, you know. And you see him on the sheet, so just keep him in prayers. You know, God, he needs the rest. So God is sovereign and God does what he, he, he does. Nicola Sachel, I'm not sure if she's still on. She's on Instagram. I'm hearing a word, pliable. Um, the word pliable, pliable, pliable. The Lord is saying to Nicola, Nicola Sachel, are you pliable? Um, is, you have been asking the Lord for some things. You have been asking the Lord for some things and, and, Maybe other persons here, but it's, I hear the Nicola Sachel. You have been asking the Lord for some things, Nicola. And the question is, are you pliable? And what does pliable mean is that we have to get out of who we are totally in order for God to do what we can't do. So for example, I'm using this as an, an example. If we are praying for an, a husband, guys, we have to be pliable what does that mean? God, we're supposed to be able to say, okay, I'm no, I normally have my own way, but now that I am asking God for a husband, Lord, take my own way and allow me to 
be the person for the other person to come in because you see if we have own way our husband have own made that never work you know we have to be at a place of compromise and that's what pliable means are you at the place where god can say i can grant you this desire because you are willing to work with what i am willing to give you and that's the word i got for um Nicola, Nicola Sachel, hallelujah. So Father God, we thank you for this time, this session, this morning. We thank you, Father, for your word. We thank you, Lord, for every person that came on this morning. We thank you for every person that will listen in the future. We pray, oh God, that this word will never depart from their mouths, will never depart from their minds, and we will go forth and shine like the cedars of Lebanon, in the mighty name of Jesus. Be blessed. Jesus loves you. I will love the whole of honor. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Be blessed, family. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. You are we are on fire, oh yes, yes. They cannot stand us. Upward and forward, oh. We are on, we are unstoppable. We are on fire. If the world loves you, something wrong with that. That's why I'm, that's why they say they cannot stand us so. Because if you find yourself, the world just love you so and love what you talk and love what you behave and love and love and love. Check that. Getting bigger. Bigger, bigger. Bigger. Hey, hey, hey. We get it. Bigger. Bigger. No limitations. We taking over. Bigger. Bless you guys. Bless you.